Senzo Meiyiwa's murder trial has been adjourned to the 12th of June for further hearings. On Friday, state witness Zandi Kumala told the court she couldn't see the gunman who entered her, her home among those in the dock. While Kumala also described the soccer star's final moments after he was shot at her mother's home in 2014. ENCA reporter Moloko Moloto has the story. On Thursday, Zandiku Malo pointed at accused number two, Bongani Danzi, as one of the two men who intruded her home. And on Friday, she said she saw the face of the gunman during the intrusion, but according to her, that gunman isn't among the five men in the dock. Law or suspect now, 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 the first suspect, I can't see him here in court, my lord. During his testimony previously, another witness who was present in the house, Ntogo Zizitwala, told the court the second intruder held a knife. But what exactly did Zandi Kumalo see? Well, the second suspect that you described as accused number two, you mentioned that the first suspect had a firearm. Did accused number two have anything in his possession? Um, no, I didn't see anything in his possession. Zandi broke into tears again during her evidence in chief on Friday as she narrated how she asked Meiwa to open his eyes as they transported him to hospital. She also said after Meiwa was declared dead, she and his girlfriend, Kelly, walked into the room his body was in. And then Kelly then started to talk to him. I cannot remember what she was saying exactly. And then she then, she then kissed him on the forehead. She took out the earrings that he had. And also, um, I can even though I cannot clearly remember. But that um, she also took out the watch that he was wearing. Zandi told the court that Mandisa, who she describes as Senzo's partner, arrived at the hospital with a group of people and they assaulted Kelly. Zandi Kumalo is expected to continue with her evidence in chief led by the state when the court resumes next month before defense lawyers take turns in cross-examining her. Moloko Molot, Pretoria.